Right. I don't understand, Michael. Holidays. Why such a complete wimp like me keeps winning everything? Even as an ex-whip, I can't stop people sleeping with other people if they ought not. I could have done all these clever, decisive things that people wanted me to do, and I would have split the Conservative Party into smithereens. Don't underestimate the bitterness of the European policy until it's settled. Well, yes, it's settled now. Settled. You've got a majority of 18. You've got a party still harking back to the golden age that never was, but is now invented. And you have three right wing members of the cabinet actually resign. You and I can both think of ex ministers who are going around causing all sorts of trouble. Do we want three more of the bugs out there? That is certainly the case. But I believe that that dispute is now out of the way, and the reality of what is happening to the economy and what is happening to legislation will now come centre stage. I welcome that. I also welcome what we're about to move on to, not just continued growth in the economy, because that means jobs and it means prosperity, but also the legislative programme we'll introduce in November, the centrepiece of which will be a large criminal justice bill dealing with law and order matters. Now, that is what concerns people in the country, growth in the economy, and firm action to deal with crime. That is what we are now in a position to move ahead on, absolutely in the centre of our programme, and I welcome that. But do you accept that you personally have got to do better? No, I don't. The, the reality is, although people ask questions such as you've just done, it's a curiosity, but we keep getting our legislation and we keep winning. I seem to recall questions like that before the last election. Are you going to be there after the election, people said to me, yet we won. Are you going to get this bill, people said to me, well we have. Are you going to get inflation down, people said, well we have. Are you going to get unemployment to fall? It's been falling for five months. Let's deal with what's really happening and not this tittle-tattle. Well, what's really happening, you call it tittle-tattle, but behind that question was this fact. You know full well that if you'd gone to the country as a result of things going wrong today, you wouldn't have had a hope of winning. There's a, con there's a constitutional point at issue over this legislation. Governments are there to govern. If they cannot carry their legislation, then they must ask the House of Commons for confidence or they must make way for somebody else who can carry legislation. That is a straightforward constitutional point. A cross-party alliance, frankly a rather unprincipled alliance, was holding up a centrepiece of legislation. The only constitutionally proper thing to do was what I did today. It's been a rough old time. Do you sometimes think, uh, well, maybe it's time to let someone else have a go? Let Mr Clark or Mr Howard have a go. <laughs> The rough old time, I think, is behind us. We're now moving into much calmer waters. It has been a turbulent period, not just, I may say, in this country. If you cast your eyes right the way around the European community and far beyond, you'll find countries having as rough, if not rougher, a time than we've had. It's uh, partly a malaise that seems to be international, and it's partly the impact of the uh, recession, which has gone on longer and was deeper than many people imagined. But we, in the United Kingdom, are out of that recession and back into clear, sustainable growth. And that is very good news for everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you. I thought there was much more. Right. I don't understand, Michael. Holidays. Why such a complete wimp like me keeps winning everything? Well, you said it. You said that yeah, I said it. Gus will tell me after saying that, won't you, Gus? No, 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 it's a fair point. The trouble is, though, that people are not perceiving you as winning. Oh, I know. Why not? Because the because, people... Because rotten SADs no, well, like me, I suppose, partly, don't no, tell no, the no, message. Not say that. <laughs> well, partly that, yes. Partly because uh, SH1TS is like you. That's perfectly right. But also because those people who are opposing our European policy have said that the way to oppose the government on the European policy is to That's attack me personally. The Labour Party started it yeah. before yeah, the last election. It's been picked up and it's just one of these fashionable things. It slips into the parliamentary <laughs> system. And it's an easy way to proceed. But, I mean, you, it has been overshadowed. And my, my point there, I mean, not just the fact that you've been overshadowed by Maastricht, which people uh, don't... But the real problem don't is this. But you've also had all the other problems yeah. on top of that, the Mella, the Mates, and all of that kind of thing. And it's, it's like a blanket. You use well, the phrase masking tape. E but, I mean, that e is it, isn't even it? Even as an ex-whip, I can't stop people sleeping with other people if they ought not, and various things like that. But the, the real problem is... Well, why the hell did he get mates, rid of mates on day one? Mates was a, a, a fly. Why did you swap it out? Yeah, they didn't say that at the time, I have to tell you. And I'll tell you what they would have said if I had. They'd have said, this man was being set up. He was trying to do his job for his constituent. 
he hadn't done anything improper, as the Cabinet Secretary told me. It was an act of gross injustice to got rid of him. Nobody knew what I knew at the time. But the real problem, but the uh, real problem is that one has a tiny majority. Don't overlook that. Oh, no. I could have been, I could have done all these clever, decisive things that people wanted me to do, and I would have split the Conservative Party into smithereens. And you'd have said, aren't you a ham-fisted leader? You've broken up the Conservative Party. Well, would you? No. I mean, you know, if people come along and say... Most people got in the cabinet, you ask, sensibly will tell you that, yes. Don't underestimate the bitterness of the European policy until it's settled. Well, yes, it's settled now. Said that the three of them, perhaps we're not mentioning names in this room, but the three of them would have, you know, if you'd done certain things, they'd come along and say, Prime Minister, resign. So, finally, resign. Well, you'll know who's three, that is. Yes. Yeah. 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 Now, think that through. Yeah. Just think it through from my perspective. You're Prime Minister. Yeah. You've got a majority of 18. Yeah. You've got a party still harking back to the golden age that never was, but is now invented. And you have three right wing members of the cabinet actually resign. What happens in the parliamentary party? They create a lot of fuss, but you've probably got three dangerous ministers in the cabinet in to replace them. Oh, I can bring in other people in the cabinet, that is right. But where do you think most of this poison has come from? It's come from the dispossessed and the never possessed. You and I can both think of ex-ministers who are going around causing all sorts of trouble. Yeah. Yeah. We want three more of the bar yeah. out there. What's the Lyndon Johnson yeah. there? Maxim? Uh, when you got the bar the ball, they answer my as it follows. That wasn't the one I had in mind. <laughs> Holiday. What would you have been doing tonight? Let me, ask, let me put the question the other way around. What would you have been doing tonight if I hadn't had a motion of confidence? It would lots. have been on the air all the time. <laughs> lots. Lots. Yeah. Lots, lots is the answer. What do you mean, if we just had another debate uh, when you put the legislation... We'd had that debate oh, the other it. day, and it had turned out as it did, and I hadn't stood up at 10 o'clock and said, right, motion of confidence, general election if you lose it. What would the media have been saying today? You'd have had every one of those bloody rebels on the phone. You'd have been saying, the Prime Minister can't survive, he's dodging, he's weaving, he won't put the matter to the test. Weak Prime Minister, government can't... Uh, as it is, our lads have gone away in hugely fine fettle. Hugely yeah. fine. Yeah. Yeah. The feeling yeah. of the parliamentary party about this small minority is intense. Yeah. 